I've been using this spray paint booth for years. It protects my shop from overspray and keeps most of the dust in the shop from settling on the wet finishes. As you can see, it's really fast to set up, but it's easy to fold up too. And because it folds up, I can store it behind my workbench so it doesn't take up any room in my shop. It's made from quarter inch hardboard and I join the panels with these duct tape hinges. The sides are two feet by two feet and the bottom and back panels are two feet by four feet. But you can make yours any size you want. If I'm spraying a clear finish, I tape a little roof made out of painter's plastic over the top. That keeps dust from raining down onto the wet lacquer or varnish. Here's the other part of the painting booth that's really important. I bought this Lazy Susan turntable at the home center for about eight bucks and screwed it to a square of particle board. I rest whatever I'm spraying on top of it so I can spin the project to paint all four sides. When you're taping your panels together, leave about a quarter inch gap at the seams. You'll need that slop for opening and closing the booth or the tape hinges will either bind or even rip. After you tape the first side, flip the whole works over and tape the other side of each seam. So if you do any spray finishing at all, put together your own little spray booth. I'll bet you love it as much as I do. You'll have to replace the hinges every once in a while, but aside from that, you'll use this thing for years. <laughs>